Hello, Mr. Verbeek. Thanks for sitting with us. Thank you. Um, Leila Guven was arrested on the 29th of December 2009, shortly after a, her appointment mm -hmm. to the new Turkish delegation to the Congress. Mm -hmm. Um, while she was mayor of Viran Serir and member of the Congress. More than four years later, she's still in detention. Um, she has been on trial since 2010, uh, with no end to her trial in sight. The Congress has followed this case closely, and uh, you recently paid a visit to see uh, Leila Guven. How is she today? Mentally, she was strong, much stronger than the first visit. We visited her two times, uh, and she grew mentally, we noticed very much, uh, in her physical mind. Uh, she was strong by her mind, she was certain about her goals, she knew very well she was not treated very well. She's in, in a jail uh, in a room that's meant for eight women and they are there with about 17 or 18 uh, women. Uh, there was a time they were there with 27 women uh, in that room, so she's treated badly and she had many stories uh, how she, she was treated by the Turkish government and it's not a very nice story. Um, with your colleague uh, Anders Knappe, you've presented a report and recommendations on this matter. Can you tell us more about these recommendations? Well, the most important thing is that she used to be a member of the Congress, and we feel strongly that as members of the Congress we should have a look at each other in times of danger. Uh, but she is also the symbol of the many politicians in Turkey that are in prison for political reasons. So the recommendations mainly go about, let's keep this in mind, let's keep talking about it, let's go on and paying attention to the situation, because Turkey paid, uh, signed the charter of the Congress, and within the rules of the charter you cannot do this, even though the Turkeys do, and that's the main thing about the recommendations, keep it on the agenda. And this raises other considerations too, basic human rights. And, yes, uh... yes, there's much connected to it. The, the functioning of the political system. And the, is, is Turkey a democracy if you behave like this is, a, is an important question. What, what, what are, your, what are you, in your opinion, are the next steps that the Congress can take to, to deal with this? Well, look for publicity. That's very important. So the pressure on the Turkish government, because this is not the only case. Journalists and, and other politicians are in the attention of Europe also. So all together we organize uh, attention towards Turkey that they must understand if they want to be part of the modern Western world and if they want to have economic relations with the modern Western world, then they should mo uh, behave according to the laws of democracy. Uh, at the moment they don't do that, so they have to ask themselves, what is our future? I guess one final thought is physically, how is she? I mean, is, was she treated uh, physically poorly or...? Yes, uh, in, in general, as far as I can judge, uh, physically she was all right, even though she, was t she told us uh, often that she was not allowed to wash herself, they were not allowed for long periods to take a shower, things like that. Uh, but I don't think she was sick. No. Okay. All right, well, good luck uh, to you and to the Congress. Thank you very much. We'll go on with the case. Okay, great. Thanks.